Nintendo with Pokemon, the Pokemon company, have filed a patent infringement lawsuit in the Tokyo District Court against Pocket Pair Inc. This lawsuit seeks an injunction against infringement and compensation for damages on the grounds that Power Roll, a game developed and released by the defendant, infringes multiple patent rights. Why now? Why now, guys? Because it's like, wouldn't you have done this? I mean, the game launched in January of this year. Why? And we all thought it was going to happen, you know, February. Why September? Nine months later, damn near it, that they, they finally start pushing this legally. They had to build their case. Yeah, I just, I wonder what they may have gotten. Because we like, we went through Power World's history, the developer, the artists that they hired. They had a beautiful story, you know, essentially small company, guy bets everything he's got, you know, picked up folks that no one ever picked up. They had a great story. I would say it's a it's a true Cinderella story amongst, you know, game developers. Uh, but at the same time, when that was rolling out, we heard comments that, you know, Pokemon was going to be pressing this lawsuit, but they never did. So we assumed it was all good. Now, right here, Nintendo will continue to take necessary actions against any infringement of its intellectual property rights, including the Nintendo brand itself to protect the intellectual properties it has worked hard to establish over the years. Nintendo, can you just get us a new console? Look, I'm not saying that this, I get it. Do whatever you gotta do, but can we just finally get a new damn console? I need to be able to play Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom at 60 FPS. And I saw supposed Nintendo leaks last night and it looks identical to the Switch. All right, so this is from Paul and hopefully we can get a little more information on this. Power World responds to being suddenly sued by Nintendo. Oh, Power World actually responded to this? Okay, from Paul here. When Power World, the so-called Pokemon with guns was first released, released, there were immediate questions about whether Nintendo would have anything to say about it. Some pounds looked like specific Pokemon. There was a monster catching with balls. The game rocketed up in popularity with some saying it was better than Pokemon had been in years. I mean, it really was. It's, it's not even that Pokemon hasn't had like maybe a good game here and there. It's just, dude, it's Pokemon with guns. I mean, it's, it's literally what it is. You can capture them. You can put them to work. You can breed them. You can cross breed them. I had Pokemon fucking other Pokemon and make, I mean, pals, excuse me. <laughs> I had pals fucking other pals that weren't even remotely in the same genetic pool making crazy pals. And that shit was awesome. I don't think I could go back to regular Pokemon. Then nothing. Nintendo had a little more than a no comment about the game, but now, eight months later, Power World's worst fears come to pass. Developer Pocket Pair is being sued by Nintendo and the Pokemon Company for what they say is patent infringement. Okay, so from the filing, this lawsuit seeks an injunction against infringement and compensation for damages on grounds that Power World, a game developed and released by the defendant, infringes multiple patent rights. I wonder what's, what specifically. Nintendo will continue to take necessary actions against any infringement of its intellectual property rights including the Nintendo brand itself to protect the intellectual properties it has worked hard to establish over the years. You know what I think? I think that Power World, even though it's definitely like, it's not like at its height, I think I think it it threatens Pokemon's existence. Now granted, Pokemon's got shows and movies and all that stuff, but you know, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not watching anything Pokemon related, you know? I think Power, from a gaming perspective, Power World, is the most threatening thing to Pokemon. Now, overnight, Power Road has now responded to the lawsuit saying they're not aware of what Nintendo is even referring to in terms of infringement. At this moment, we are unaware of the specific patents we are accused of infringing upon, and we have, have not been notified of such details. Pocket Bear is a small indie company based in Tokyo. Our goal as a company has always been to create fun games. We will continue to pursue this goal because we know that our games bring joy to millions of gamers around the world. Power Road was a surprise success this year, both for gamers and for us. We were blown away by the amazing response to the game and have been working hard to make it even better for our fans. We'll continue improve, improving Power Road and strive to create a game that our fans can be proud of. It is truly unfortunate that we will be forced to allocate significant time to matters unrelated to game development due to this lawsuit. However, we will do our utmost for our fans and to ensure that indie game developers are not hindered or discouraged from pursuing their creative ideas. Ooh. Speculation is flying about what is actually going on here. This is alleging patent infringement, not copyright or trademark. So this should not be about monster designs, though intellectual property is mentioned. And while you catch monsters with balls, you level them up and battle them at its core, 
Power World is a survival game about not just monster collection, but base building and management, often with other players on a multiplayer map defending off waves of enemies, something Pokemon has never been about. That said, it seems like that the litigious Nintendo would not be moving forward with this if they did not have something it believes is significantly damaging. And whether whatever this is pans out and Pocket Bear is found liable or not, this is going to be a significant investment of time and money for the company that is a fraction of the size of Nintendo. Well, that, that may actually be the goal here. What if the goal for Nintendo is like, you know, you're sitting in there, you got the board with you, you're looking at everybody and you're like, listen, I don't know why we didn't think of Pokemon with guns, but it was a genius idea. And, and these guys, they got us beat. You got Pokemons with guns. You could ride the Pokemon. You could breathe the Pokemon. They just call them pals. We're kind of done. The best thing we could do right now is just sue the piss out of them. Hope we completely drag them into, into litigation for the next four or five years, you know, maybe longer if possible, and, and just try to drown them in legal stuff. If anything, we'll just hinder them to keep them from developing any more power roll. That literally may be the goal. If you can't make a better product, bury them in lawsuits. Oh, that's terrible, dude. That's awful. Yes, they made loads of money from Power Road up front, but how much of that will, will now need to be devoted to this? How much would this hamper further development if Power Road doesn't even know what they're su supposed to be infringing on? Well, they're going to know eventually. I, but I do also have to wonder, like, what is the patent infringement here? It can't be the balls, right? Right? It can't be the, the throwing out the balls. Just make it a make it a cube. I mean, that's the only thing I can think of too. I mean, I, if game mechanic somehow works or falls under that umbrella in, in Japanese law, then maybe. So is Pokemon Nintendo just mad that Power Roll made a better Pokemon? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm getting from this, guys. That's what I'm getting from this. I mean, the reality is, it's not that I'm I'm playing Power Roll every day right now or anything. We we played it a fair amount when it first dropped. And, and I do have a desire to go back, go back and play Power Roll, but I have, I have zero desire to play another Pokemon game. But can I just, can I also say this? It's not that I have zero desire to play a Pokemon game because of Power Roll. I have zero desire to play a Pokemon game because I just haven't found any enjoyment from Pokemon in well over a decade. You know, it's just been a long time. Power Roll was just that thing to go, hey, this, this concept that you grew up around, we made a more interesting version of it. Someone somewhere thought of the idea of like, hey, we can have the Pokemon fight or you could pick up that fucking sniper rifle and shoot the Pokemon. Pokemon score hasn't changed in 20 years. You name your dude Ash, you fight through some gyms to get eight badges and fight the Elite Four. That's essentially been every single Pokemon game for 20 plus years now. I don't, I'm just, I don't know how Pokemon, what they're going to do next, you know, to get their game to stand out. You know, I like maybe you become the Pokemon. I don't know. I was going to say, maybe you could become the Pokemon, but who knows, man? Who knows? Now, the general public sentiment about this news is that this reads like a somewhat bullying move from Nintendo and the Pokemon company that may be sparked by fears of power of success. And now Pokemon was comparably unfavorable, unfavorably to the standout game. Uh, yeah, 100%. Or they genuinely believe that Power Roll lifted something significant past similar monsters and a concept. But of course, Nintendo does not own the concept of catching monsters. That's not patent. So what is? There's also the question of whether Microsoft is going to get involved here as they have a close relationship with Pocket Pair and helped guide Power Roll into being the mega success it was. That's right. Power Roll is not on PlayStation, right? Chat, correct me if I'm wrong. Did Power Roll, has Power, Power Roll ever made it to PlayStation? Dude... Do Sony and Nintendo, Nintendo like what? What is their relationship? What is what is the Sony Nintendo relationship like? So so you don't think okay? I'm just I'm just look. I don't know the relationship, but you don't think like Nintendo called up Sony and was just like, hey, that fucking Pokemon with guns game you see coming your way, y'all don't put that shit. Y'all do us a solid. Don't put that shit in your system. Anyway, it's a good article here from Paul. Y'all can check it out, guys. We have links on this one. And as far as you know, what what happens with this story, we we'll have to see. I will say it's definitely a David Goliath situation. It definitely looks like you have big, big bad Nintendo that's, that's, uh, and, and Pokemon that's sitting there beating up on the indie game just because the indie game popped the hell off. And Power World did. And we saw the numbers this past year, man. Power World popped the hell off. Matter of fact, how is Power World doing right now? Power World's still holding strong, guys. 20, 26,000, uh, player count. I mean, still holding strong. Def definitely like, you know, it had its, it had its crazy all time highs here. Damn, I can't even get to it, but you know, well in the million. Actually, I think over 2 million. This shows right up here. But, you know, these, these numbers are still really, really solid numbers. You know what I actually think, guys? You know what I think? I, this is, I think this shit is even dirtier. Can I tell you what I think? I think Nintendo and 
Pokemon. They not only were trying to build a case, I think they wanted Power Roy and, and, and Pocket to get comfortable, to, to believe that they were safe, to be like, because I'm sure after everything happened, that Pocket Pair was probably like, oh crap, are we about to be in a lawsuit right now? But nothing happened for months, nothing happened. And I wonder if Power Roy and po Pocket Pair committed a bunch of funds to the next set of development for, for Power Roy, which they already had a roadmap and a bunch of other things planned. But they were like, all right, let's go ahead and invest everything back into Power Roll and continue building this game out for the long haul. And after those funds have been allocated and perhaps some of it even spent, that's when you hit them with litigation, right? You see them weak, depleted, and then you swoop in, hit them with the lawsuit. Slap that like button like your mama told you right.